Welcome to Varsity. I'm Scott Wright of The Oklahoman, and this is our All-City Basketball Special. I'm joined now by Little All-City First Team Selection, Vaughn Rainey of Cashin. Vaughn, you, uh, you had an outstanding career at, uh, at Cashin that you've, uh, you've wrapped yes, up now. Um, you guys got uh, one game short of the area tournament this season. Yes, what was this year like for you? This year was really good. Uh, it was our best season we've had in a very long time as far as Cashin Boys basketball. Just being here for the last four years, I don't know exactly how long it's been. But we ended up 19-7. Uh, and seven. We had a 10-game winning streak in there that was ended by Hennessy in a really good game. But I felt like, especially coming off the football state championship, starting from game one through the last game of the season, we really got better almost every game. And by the end of the year, we were playing our best basketball, which was where we wanted to be. Of course, we didn't get as far as we'd like to have gone. But that doesn't put the success of the season in any less the pitcher. Over, over the course of your career, you guys have, have taken a lot of steps to, uh, to get to the point where you, uh, where you ended at. <coughs> what, what are some of the moments that really stand out to you uh, from your career at Cashin? Uh, I mean, there's a lot to choose from. Starting back, I remember when I first moved out to Cashin along with my head coach, John Hardaway. Uh, we moved out there at the same time, of course. My freshman year was his first year there. And I remember him talking to what was the group we had with my freshmen and the seniors that were Ty Reasoner, Dixon Robertson, and Nate Lee, about how he knew where the program was at that time, but that his goal was to turn it around. I think the year before that they won, they were like four and 17. And he said that his main goal and the reason he was there was to turn that program around and put cash and basketball back on the map and be a team that wasn't just a laughing stock in basketball and it was just a football school but he wanted to get the culture revived around cash and basketball and I feel like we've really done a good job of that every year that we've been there we've won more games than the last year and I don't see that stopping I think that we've got the program headed the right direction as far as the best moments definitely my freshman year uh, in overtime or double overtime actually against O'Keen in the playoffs that was a shot that I'll remember forever but there's just, a lot of the times it's not even in the game. It's the moments in the locker room, uh, speeches that coach gives, just even if coach isn't in there, just time with the team, the different teams that I've had over the years. It's just stuff that will stick with me forever. Well, you averaged over 20 points a game your last two years of high school. You earned a spot at, uh, at Rogers State. You're heading on to play some, uh, some college basketball there up yes, in, the, in the Tulsa area. What yes, was sir. it about that program that you liked? Honestly, it was more of the whole, it wasn't any one thing specifically. Roger State's been recruiting me since their elite camp early last summer. And from the few times I've been up there, I've been up there for the camp, of course, then on a visit and to watch a handful of their basketball games. I feel like the campus there, and even more specifically the basketball team, is a good fit for me personality-wise, style of play-wise, and I feel like it's a very good fit for me as a person and as a basketball player. Well, good luck to you there at, at Rogers State. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us, and keep it on newsok.com slash varsity for all of your all-city updates. Thank you.